Hi guys, it's Carisha Thomas. If you don't know me, um, I don't even know what to say about that. But if you do, hey guys, this is a bit different from anything that I've done um, before. And literally, I didn't plan it. It came to my spirit and I was like, God, what? Me? But today, the events that occurred led me to the park around I even got my kids with me led me to the park and I am currently sitting here about to do something I've never done before and I believe that there's a purpose for this and I just pray that um, the purpose is fulfilled not even pray I know the purpose will, will be fulfilled I just pray that it will reach who it needs to reach and also I just pray that you guys will have patience with me obviously this is I've never done anything like this before so i hope you can hear me clearly i hope you can see me fine i haven't got a tripod with me nothing i've literally pro propped up my my driver's manual to help my phone stay up like i'm so unprepared but i believe that that's how god is and it go goes right into what i didn't even come with a message i didn't come with anything like i literally just bought myself and my phone and my my willingness to do this like literally so but right now i'm hearing wait on god like literally wait on god even though things are coming up against you against what you're doing against what you've prayed for against what you know should be rightfully yours rightfully what you should be seeing in your life wait do not doubt do not give up wait literally it's all gonna make sense it's all gonna fall into place very soon sooner than you actually think and um like i said I, I didn't come with a message prepared i don't even know like where i'm going with this all i know is that i've come to open my mouth and and speak so you know i just pray right now that father god you mighty god the only true father of creation all creation will speak through me and give the message that is needed to be given right now so yeah guys um if this has got anything to do with what i'm going through things have been going terribly wrong for you lot like you know what you have been promised what you know god has promised you what you know should be going well for you what should be happening the fruits of your labor that you should be seeing right now you're not seeing them you're not actually um you're not receiving what you thought you would be receiving at this time in your life you're not exactly where you thought you would be or where you have worked to get to you you're putting in work for certain things like behind the scenes people don't even see what you're doing like you're staying up you're putting in work you're literally um, neglecting certain um responsibilities just to to um sacrifice make that sacrifice for what for the fruit you want to see manifested in your life and it's not just now it's been a long time coming you've been doing this for a while like it could be months weeks years for me it's been years like and so many things have come up to literally tell you that you are not getting that exact thing i don't know if it's a home i don't know if it's your ministry i don't know if it's financial breakthrough abundance i don't know if it's love your husband your wife i don't know what it is that you have been literally working for and sacrificing things for but the enemy has literally been coming to you to tell you that you're not getting that specific thing like he's literally circled it out the one thing you've been praying hard for he's been circling that thing like he's been literally singular uh, my words right now i know god is good he's literally going to give me the words that i need he's literally been highlighting that specific thing and telling you that you're not getting it showing you that it's further it's so far away from from you from you receiving it that you're actually about to give up that oh you've decided that you know what i'm about to say f it you're giving up like you just can't be bothered what is the point but i've actually come to tell you right now that it's actually here i don't know if you can believe this i don't know if you can believe god for who he actually is but it's actually here 
this is why he's going so hard this is why the enemy is going so hard right now because if he could just get you to believe just you see when they said um for you to have faith the size of a mustard seed and you will receive those things those things will come through for you it is the same way in the realm of darkness so if you could just believe just even a small ounce of, of faith that you are not going to receive what God has promised you, like a small seed of doubt, that's all it takes to literally delay, counsel what God is doing for you, delay it for another couple of weeks, months, years, or counsel it completely if you literally say, fuck it. I'm going to say it like that because I feel like someone is actually, someone who has has so much faith, is actually at the place where they're saying fuck it the devil is a liar i'm telling you let me just remind you that the alpha our creator the creator of all living things he said that he has nothing but god good thoughts for you thoughts to give you a future and not just a future but to give you hope yeah so the enemy is come to attack your hope and attack your future right now and i'm literally going to remind you that god has got your back he's not forgotten you he's not forsaken you he's literally he's not forgotten you he really has not forgotten you he hasn't forgotten your prayers he hasn't forgotten the seeds that you 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 did so he hasn't forgotten the sacrifice that you've made he hasn't and he's 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 actually brought me here to tell you that it's here it's here for the taking your your ships are in <laughs> i don't know hallelujah i receive my ships i receive it right now like i I'm, obviously this is for me as well and i'm just i'm just hearing it right now as i'm speaking like this is actually for me because i've been praying i've been sowing seeds for years into ministries i've been sowing seeds into you know the people around me i've been sowing seeds into like the the spiritual realm and literally seeing nothing except for more lack things more things being taken so sorry let me just wait because i don't want to be distracted at all so yeah i've been seeing it's like the more i give the more i sacrifice for what i I've been praying for the more I'm seeing the enemy show me that it's further away from me it's harder for me to get to that place get to what I want and God has told me it's a lie from the pit of hell it's a lie the devil has been a liar from the beginning of time and this is what we we seem to kind of we waver on like we can doubt God we don't doubt that the enemy is a liar he is a liar he will always be that and so he's not going to um <laughs> he, he's not going to you know he's very st strategic with his lies do you know what i'm saying so when you are at that place where you're you're literally waiting for that breakthrough you're believing in that breakthrough that's his time to come in and strike and <laughs> And I know that he's been striking you left, right and centre. If I have been getting it like left, right and centre, it's not been making no sense the way that he's been striking me. I've been literally saying, God, honestly, do you, like, do you really love me? Am I, am I really doing the right thing by you? Because the way he's attacking me, it's like I'm not been protected. It's like, it's like I'm just in the open. And as I'm saying that, I'm hearing nothing goes unnoticed to God. Nothing happens that he doesn't allow to happen. So if you're being attacked by the enemy, trust me, it's a test. It's a test of your faith. It's a test to see if you are ready. Are you ready to ascend? Are you actually, is your faith true? How can you, how can we say that our faith is true unless the, unless it is tested? The same way we test God, we try and test God. And we're like, yeah, you came through for me, God, because we tested and we tried him, right? It's the same way our faith has to be tested. 
so that it can be shown approved that it is real that it is it is it is standing it is strong that's how we're strengthening it by testing it it's the same thing like when you're going to the gym you don't know how much strength you've got you don't know how much muscle you can build until you up your your kgs do you know what i'm saying if you keep on just you know can't doing cardio you're not going to gain any more mass you've got to increase the weight you've got to increase the pressure and the devil god is allowing the devil to increase the pressure so that you can have more so that your faith can grow i i don't really i really don't know i know i need this word that's all i know i know i need this word but um i've come to say don't give up wait on god your ship is here it's right here like it's right here at the end of this test at the end of this test it's here it comes through you see when you 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 actually when you finish those sets those reps and you go home in comes the gains yeah you can look in the mirror and you can look at your angles and you see in comes the gains this is the same thing for what's going to happen right now once you push past this test push past the test push past um push past the betrayal push past the heartbreak push past your divorce push past your kids um being disobedient push past the bills push past your what seems like brokenness or brokenness push past it because you see when you push past that you don't even know what past is but god does when you keep pushing he's going to show you the results he's going to show you the um he's going to show you what you have gained by pushing past that it's going to be the fruits of your labor literally you're going to receive it it's there it's set it's there already it's like you see when you go um and enter a race or you enter um you enter some kind of competition the judges don't wait for you to win to then go out and shop for your prize your prize is sitting there on the table your trophy is sitting there on the table you may not can see it from the, the starting point the starting line where you are but once you get to the finish line you see that table once they make that announcement that you won you see the trophy in 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 the um the the host's hand and this is the same thing for god right now he's got it when he makes the announcement that you have pushed past your reward is going to be right there you're going to see it it's not going to be it's not going to be wishful thinking anymore it's not going to be no what ifs there's not going to be no doubt it's going to be presented to you it's going to be real it's going to be assured it's yours for the taking so that's my message for you and me and you know what um i just want to thank anybody that's watched to this point because like i said this is nothing that i've done before and i really truly felt led to do this to come and just open my mouth and let god speak and let what needed to come out come out and um i am truly grateful for anyone that tunes in and i pray that it encourages you to keep on going i pray that it stops you from giving up right now and i just pray that you will hold on to that mustard seed of faith that you have you have it man you have it you have it hold on to it man it's going it's hold on to it i'm watering it right now it's gonna grow and the fruits are going to be produced and it's going to be yours yours for the taking no one else is yours so with that being said i give glory to god